Hi everyone. So for today's lesson, okay, we're going to do an assessment at the end and that is what you're going to turn in. Okay, so you have to watch this YouTube video first in order to know how to complete the assessment and to know the answers to the assessment. So here's the assessment, you, uh, completed assessment after watching Mrs. Urquiola's YouTube video on Peter and the Wolf. I'm going to click on all really quick. Here you're going to see the other three assignments that I've asked you to do. If you have not completed them, please do so. I am still giving credit for these assignments, even though they were given last week and the weeks before. So, you cannot complete this. Do not click launch until after you watch this YouTube video. So, we have to learn a little bit first about Peter and the Wolf. So, what is Peter and the Wolf? All right, so Peter and the Wolf is like a story that has music that goes with it. And it was written by It was written by this guy. Sergei Prokofiev. So Prokofiev uh, was commissioned to create a musical symphony for children. So somebody asked Prokofiev to create a song. So that's what commissioned means. Commission means when you special order something. So um, you could special order a song. You could special order some artwork okay so they asked him to do this specific thing and so that musical symphony turned out to be peter and the wolf okay so peter and the wolf is a story um that has music in the background and that music is supposed to teach children about the different instruments of the orchestra So what is the story of Peter and the Wolf? Peter and the Wolf is a musical story about a boy named Peter who explores the meadow with his friends, the bird, the duck, and the cat. Peter's grandfather warns him of the wolves that live in the forest. When brave Peter sees a wolf, he realizes his friends are in trouble. He gets a rope and springs into action. So that's the story. In the story, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven characters. You have Peter. Okay, you have the bird. You have the grandfather. You have the cat. You have the hunters. You have the duck. And you have the wolf. So each of the different characters represents a different instrument in the orchestra, okay? And not only do they represent a different instrument in the, of the orchestra, but they have a different theme that is played on those instruments. So a theme is a song or like a melody or a tune that is easy to recognize, okay? So every time each of the in, uh, characters are brought out in the story, you have these uh, instruments and their song that goes with it. So here is the first one. Let's listen to it first. So that is the sound of a clarinet playing their low notes. So you have a clarinet and that's the song that goes with it. That song goes, and the clarinet goes with the cat. Uh, let's listen to the next one. There you'll notice another low sound, but even lower than the clarinet. Um, there you have a bassoon, and that bassoon and that song that goes with the bassoon goes with the grandfather right here next one
So there you have a string quartet. And that string quartet and the song that goes to the string quartet goes with Peter. Next. So there you have a flute, that flute, and that song that goes with the flute goes with the bird. Next one. So there you have three French horns, also known as just horn, and that goes with the wolf. Next. There you have a type of drum, which is called a timpani. All right, and that is going to go with the hunters. Next. So there you have an instrument called the oboe. All right, and that oboe and that song goes with the duck. Let me check it. That's all correct. Next. All right, so how do these instruments look like? All right, we've already talked about the bird and the bird goes with the flute. This is how the flute looks like. It's like all silver. Um, it looks like a stick, right? Just like the other three. Next, you have the hunters. And I said that the instrument that goes to the hunters is the timpani. These are different percussion instruments, but timpani is what goes with the hunters. Then you have Peter. Peter, I said, has a string quartet that plays along with him. Then you have the wolf. You have three French horns. And then you have the grandfather, and the bassoon is what goes with him. The duck, the duck goes with the oboe. And then the cat, the cat goes with the clarinet. Now here, when it loads, uh, you could hear the different songs again that goes with the instruments. All right. Now each of the songs um, again have it goes with different instruments. Uh, so let's see. Let's listen to Peter, the bird and the duck going together. Early one morning, Peter opened the gate and went out into the big green meadow. So this is basically the story. So instead of doing this, all right, um, you could easily just go to YouTube and find different variations of the story. Okay, so for example, here, um, I put Peter and the Wolf, uh, the full video, and I put the Disney one because I like the Disney one. But there are different variations, all right? So here, you could just watch the story of Peter and the Wolf. I could play a few seconds of it. This is a Disneyland original little long playing record, and I am your story reader. I'm going to begin now to read the story of Peter and the Wolf. Okay. You can read along with so, me. So, again, there are different variations of the story that you can listen to. And you're going to listen to it. 
Um, alrighty. So when you are done, you're going to go back here and you're going to start the assessment. Start the assessment. What is the name of the composer who wrote Peter and the Wolf? Notice how I said that in the beginning of this video. Um, you're going to click on it, the right one. I'm not going to click on it right now so that you know how to do it yourself. Um, Prokofiev was commissioned to write an orchestral piece for which group of people? We've talked about that. How many characters are in the story? We also talked about that. Um, you're going to read this. Whose theme is it? So whose song is that? So you're going to listen to it and then answer which um, of the characters that song goes for. And you're going to do that for number five. That's another one. Six. Now you're going to also talk about which instrument is being played here. Right? So I already answered that earlier in this video. Same thing here. Same thing there. And then when you are done, you're going to click Submit. Okay. Um, and then you're going to click Exit. Please click Submit. And then that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Thank you.